Conversion tracking is undeniably one of the most important metrics of your website. Knowing how many visitors take action on your site and convert to being a member or paying customer helps you target your marketing, see how your site is being used, and most importantly, determine the success of your efforts and judge ROI. There is no lack of conversion tracking tools out there. From WordPress plugins to entire CRM platforms to metrics and analytics dashboards, you have a choice of nearly any kind of tracking software you could want. Let's check out four different options for your WordPress website. Number one, Google Analytics. Nearly everyone uses Google Analytics in some capacity because it can handle just about any kind of metric tracking that you need. And it's not terribly difficult to understand if you're not going to be digging into the ultra advanced features. Luckily, conversion tracking is one of the easy to use feature sets. Generally, when starting out tracking conversions, people begin with email opt-ins. It's an easy way to judge how many people are interested in what you're putting out into the world. If they like it enough, they sign up for your list. Simple enough. So in Google Analytics, you may want to track traffic with a specific URL within certain parameters. In most contact form and email opt-in plugins, there's a redirect URL field. In Divi, it looks like this. All you have to do is enter the URL you want the newly converted user redirected to. In Google Analytics, Navigate to Conversions, Goal URLs, and click the Setup Goals button. From there, you can either select the Create an Account Radio button or even Custom. Then you simply enter the URL into the destination field and you're ready to start tracking. At the bottom of this screen, just above the Save button, you can verify this goal, which is basically getting a baseline of where your conversions rates stand when you start. Remember, this isn't the only way to track conversions in Google Analytics, and it doesn't give the deepest analytics you can get. But if you're new to goals and conversion tracking, it will get the job done and you can grow from there once you're used to the platform. Number two, Google Ads. Formerly AdWords, Google Ads is responsible for most of the banner ads on the internet, which means the platform is responsible for conversions from search engines to your website. You can find them in the tools and settings menu under measurements, just click on conversions. Once there, you will choose how you want to track the conversions. We will click on website. Then it's very similar to how you track in Google Analytics. You select subscribe from the drop down menu. And finally, you just insert the code that Google Ads gives you into your website. If you aren't the one who manages the website, you could email it to the person who does. Or you can use Google Tag Manager, which is a fantastic marketing tool, but more in depth than we can go into here. After that's done, you're going to be tracking any ad campaigns that you run through Google Ads. Simple as that. Number three, Twitter website tag. This is their way of having you install a script in the head of your website to track your ad spend and conversions through their analytics platform. And it's that simple to use. Sign into the Twitter account you use for marketing at ads.twitter.com and click on the drop down tools and select conversion tracking. Twitter then directs you to a page with a big blue button that says generate website tag for conversion tracking. Agree to their terms and conditions, then press it. Now all you have to do is copy this code and paste it into your WordPress themes head script box. However, rather than pressing the return to conversion tracking button, we want to call your attention to create a conversion event now. This link serves the same function as the goal we set for Google Analytics, letting you track any number of metrics for your users, but also to the direct URL which you are tracking. You could even set which criteria and conditions under which the URL will be tracked. Once you save this event, your site will immediately start tracking your conversions. Finally, number four, Facebook Pixel. And now we come to the infamous Facebook Tracking Pixel. Ubiquitous among internet marketers and conversion trackers, the Facebook pixel has drawn a lot of anger because of the data it collects. That data is managed through the Facebook for Developers dashboard and the campaigns are tracked there too. Using the Facebook pixel, you can track conversions around your site, apps that tie into Facebook, your Facebook and Instagram ads, and even more. Rather than repeat ourselves here, we have a full in-depth guide to using the Facebook pixel for conversion tracking and much more. We'll link it down below in the description. With that, you'll be tracking so many conversions, you won't know how to keep up. The Facebook pixel is really that powerful. And there you go. What is your preferred method of conversion tracking? 
let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.